Hello everyone, good morning, good evening, wherever we are. Welcome to another workout video with me. Today we have a 30 minutes Pilates reformer workout where we are going to focus on core mainly, yes? Uh, during the workout we are going to activate the shoulders also, uh, shoulder stability and shoulder strength for a while, but mainly it will be a core work and we have a nice surprise, a nice teaser combo, a nice teaser challenge for all of you on two different variations. So if you are ready, we can start with our warm-up also. To inform you, I will do only the one side of the workout, the opposite side. I'm going to do it later on because I need to move the reformer. So please, when you will complete one side, you can do also the opposite side for all the unilateral movements. I will tell you what exactly I mean uh, as we move on to the workout. So I'm adding only one red spring tension by Align Pilates. Seated on the platform. Hands on the standing platform, sorry, hands on the foot bar. And let's go for some knee stretches. Bend your knees, keep them parallel. Exhale forward. To warm up the hips and the knee joints. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And keep your legs straight. Sit on your hip bones, breathe in. Exhale through the mouth. Roll your hips forward, chest proud. And inhale, tall in. Four more. Three. Two. One more. Very nice. And very tall in. Nice. Switch the resistance. I'm going to add one blue instead of the red. Lighter spring tension. Single knee stretches for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Nice. Switch, switch your legs, please. The same thing for 10. Try to keep the knee aligned with your toes. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Chest forward. Five. Four. Three, two, and one more stretch your legs. Great. And wide knees. Bend your knees. Stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, try to not lean back, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Very nice work. Nice. Small rest. The pla platform is closed. 
feet parallel, active lats and pegs, what we mean active lats and pegs, you are constantly pushing yourself off the floor up, exhale through the mouth, reach your knees forward as you roll the hips up and forward and roll back down without dropping the shoulders, exhale up two, squeeze the glutes at the top, inhale back, three, and back, nice, four, and back, five, six, seven, eight, last two, nine, and the last one. Then stay up, lift it, right leg table top 90 degrees, five, four, level hips, three, two, and switch, four, five, four, three, two, and one, and drop your glutes down. Very nice work, bravo. Feet wide, no springs, and left hand on the platform. I have my, so both hands on the platform, bring the left to where the right is, and the right is straight next to you. Now, what I'm doing, no springs. Open the reformer, lean forward, reach back, inhale through the nose, tall in. Exhale. And up. Your legs are strong, you hug the bed with your legs. Depends on the height that you have. So, if I'm not that tall, I am 188, one meter and 88 centimeters, you can have the feet between inside, yes? Instead of keeping them out. Five, up, six, nice, tall in, seven, Two more. Eight. And nine. My neck is long, always. And try to reach back. Last one. Ten. Hold, please. For ten, nine, eight, seven, six, like small pulses. Five, four, three, two, and bring the right, cross it over the left, face the floor, lengthen your spine, close the reformer, keep the chest proud, the shoulders wide as you open, four, four more, inhale, extend your spine, grow tall, exhale, two, inhale, three, Two more, up, four, and the last one, five, stay where you are please, close the reformer now and bring me the left straight in front of your left shoulder, breathing through the nose, prepare, exhale through the mouth, twist, reach the left back, and with control, return again where you started, one, open all the way, two, and slow control up, three, and up, four, Five. 
and five to go. Six. And up. Seven. Last three. Tall in. Eight. And nine. The last one, we are going to open, twist, so the right side of your chest faces to the wall and lean forward, lengthen both arms to the opposite directions, reach your chest forward and keep the neck not affected. Five, four, three pulses, two pulses, one and return. Amazing work, great. No springs. Feet parallel, we did this exercise right before, the only difference now that the platform is always under tension and I am without spring, so it's required more control and more strength. Exhale through the mouth, reach your knees forward, find your balance, right leg tabletop, left leg tabletop, and both legs down. Roll the hips down, keep the chest forward. Exhale through the mouth, roll the hips forward, up. The left first, right second. Roll down. Right, left, Left, right, roll down. Two more. And the last one. Roll down. Very nice. For the next exercise team, we are going to add one a light spring. For balanced body, it is uh, one yellow. Okay. For you, if you have a Merithu machine, one white. If you have the Align Pilates, one blue. I have, I'm using at the moment the Align M8 Wooden Reformer. It is an amazing one. You have to try it out, really. So, team, now, feet are straight. Platform under tension, extend your hips, squeeze the glutes, and close the reformer, touch your calves. Two, in, three, in, four, five, six, Eight and close. For all these exercises is required the upper body strength. Okay, if you have clients with wrist issues, you need to figure out what variation you will give them for doing the same exercise. Okay, I have many ideas on my mind. You can have the box between, forearms on the box, feet on the platform, one example. So, last variation. No springs, be more aware, be more strong, more powerful, more concentrated. Platform always under tension, reach your glutes up, and two, three, four, roll the hips forward. Five, six, seven, and eight. 
Great work. Very nice. Okay. Platform is without springs at the moment. We are coming off the reformer. Take a small rest. Some uh, circles for your wrists. We had a lot of tension here, but it strengthens a lot all this area. The forearms, the grip strength are very important for all our planks and generally for all our workouts. Now, as you can see, my box is long box against the reformer and it is aligned with the shoulder rests, as you can see, right? So the end of the box is aligned with the rear edge of the shoulder rest. Drink your water. We are starting directly for the next movements. We are going to start with a simple roll down and roll up variation. Only for this variation, move the box slightly further. Straight arms in front of our chest, feet parallel, hip distance, very tall posture. So your goal here is to elongate. I'm not dropping down, but I'm thinking of reaching my skull up to the ceiling as I'm reaching my chest forward and my shoulders back. And as you will notice, automatically your shoulders, when you create length, will come where? Very far from your head. Inhale through the nose sweeper, exhale through the mouth, roll the hips forward. All the way back, neck muscles active, inhale, exhale, as my hands are passing my eyes, lift your chest and your head together, use your abs and return back to the very tall position, breathe in, exhale. For eight times. I'm a very big fan of uh, for breathing control, especially for these exercises. Prepare with inhalation. Exhale, squeeze the glutes and back. Breathing length and prepare. Exhale. Back to your seated for three more. And lengthen up, two, and last one, halfway back, hands behind of you, and twist to the right twist to the left. Nice. Excellent work. Only the blue spring. Let's start our challenge now. Second variation. I'm going to do the same thing that I did now. The only thing that is added is extra resistance, extra difficulty, okay? So as you see, my left hand is against the shoulder rests and I make sure that my shoulder is not coming close to my head, but I keep it level with the opposite. You can support your neck with the right arm like a pillow if needed, otherwise, you can have the arm straight. Here we have more neck strength. All my neck muscles are really active as I'm resisting my gravity. Inhale, exhale. Lengthen up. Control, breathe in, prepare. Exhale through the mouth up.
Breathe in. Out three. You can do the same thing with a small dumbbell on the right, if you want, in the right hand. Four. Five. I want you very strong here. And down. Breathing, prepare. Exhale through the mouth up. Six. Seven. Last one, eight, halfway, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my God. This was really, really tough. And imagine it's the easiest of the three ones, okay? So this was the first variation. Feet on the floor, glutes on the box, roll up, roll down, that's all. Second variation is harder. For this one, for the previous one, I'm doing like 10 reps for the roll down, the body weight roll down and roll up. For this one, I'm doing eight reps. The third one is six reps. So it goes like a scale, okay, this uh, challenge. And we lay back down. Now get ready, this is harder, team. Let's try our best. Breathe in through the nose, exhale through the mouth, up. Bend your knees tabletop, organize the left shoulder. Two. Three. Proud chest. Four. Five. Strong legs, try to stretch your knees completely. And the last one, six. And relax. Great work. Rest 30 seconds to 45 seconds. Now it's time for the harder one, okay? So the harder one, it is uh, three reps. We are going to do three reps here. Imagine it is like the teaser two from the Pilates mat. So the previous one was like the teaser one. This is like the teaser two. And then we have the rotation, which is the most challenging and fun. Three reps. Organize the shoulders, right leg tabletop, left leg tabletop, both legs are straight, 45 degrees angle, exhale through the mouth, up, and roll back. Last one. Lengthen up. Bend your knees and relax. This one, three to six reps is perfectly fine. And now we are moving on to the last one. The last one, I'm not confident enough that I can do it with uh, the blue. That's why I'm going to start without springs. So for the last one, I balance on my sitting bones. And what we do, we rotate, we stretch the legs and and twist face front. Two. In. Three. In. Last. Four. 
hold. Three, two, and one. Oh, Whew. that's great. Very nice work. So I make a conclusion to not confuse you. The first one, roll down, roll up, no springs. Second one, roll down, roll up, feet on the floor, one blue. A third one, we did teaser one variation, eight reps. Fourth one, teaser two variation, three to six reps. I demonstrated three of them. And the last one, it is the this one with the rotation. I will try it once again with one blue spring. It's much harder. Make sure here that your arm is always straight and you are pushing the reformer forward as you twist. Okay? Inhale through the nose, prepare. Exhale through the mouth, twist. Two. And the last one. Three. Amazing work. Nice. Let's bring team the box or keep the box where it is. No springs. We are going for some hip stretches. 10 reps per leg because we worked a lot of hip flexions during today's class. We did some extensions in the beginning during the reverse plank and the um, uh, hip bridges, but still is required. Two. I feel that my body needs it. And up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And up. Last one. Eight. Stay down. Hands on the frames. Proud chest. Five. Four. The more proud is my chest, the more, the more hip stretch I have. Two and one. Bring please the right where the left was. Platform close to us. My knee close to the front edge of the platform. Hands on your belly for eight times hip stretches. And very tall in. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. The last two. Seven. And last one. Eight. Open. Reach your maximum. Hands on, proud posture. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Close the reformer, and then what we do? We move the box to the opposite, repeating the five of them. Okay? You can choose how many exercises of these you want in your uh, class, and how many rounds of those you can do. You can do two per side or one per side. Thank you so much for joining my workout once again and I'm looking forward to talk with you, send me your questions, find my email on the website. Thank you so much, have an amazing rest of your day.